Uh, welcome back to the techno communism conversation. I am. Um, um, this is the um, uh, last thing I posted on uh, Facebook uh, since posting one of these shows uh, because my ability to uh, um, uh, share and comment on other people's uh, material has mysteriously disappeared without any uh, warning. And um, this is something that I've observed other people saying at this time. Um, it's no coincidence that at a time when uh, a, um, a student movement um, um, is um, a sweeping across uh, the country, uh, uh, having an um, effect on uh, the uh, faith, uh, so-called faith, in the uh, uh, U.S. military fascistic system, um, uh, that uh, people who might um, articulate such a movement um, or um, uh, try to do work to steer such a movement into um, a, a movement to say uh, stop those same forces from uh, causing the extinction of humankind through capitalism's climate apocalypse through the actual abolition of, uh, of these ecocidal sectors or uh, say um, um, uh, try to transform such a movement as important as it is into uh, something that would uh, be the basis not for uh, a temporary uh, flaring up of, of passions uh, which the bourgeoisie can afford to outweigh, uh, but rather um, uh, the basis for something that would become um, a people's government. A necessary uh, thing, um, as I say on the show, um, there is not going to be uh, a human species if we do not build a people's government on every continent, um, ab abolish private wealth on every continent, and um, uh, eliminate three particular types of, of sectors uh, that are causing the extinction of this planet, namely the aforementioned uh, uh, trillion dollar abomination of U.S. military fascism and Western military fascism, which relies heavily on um, very much on one of the other sectors that must be abolished, uh, fossil fuel uh, sectors, um, and uh, livestock systems, uh, a close second in the, um, in the raw accounting of um, um, environmental damage to the fossil fuel uh, sectors, uh, something that's becoming increasingly understood. People remain intransigent uh, to that necessity. Um, you can uh, not look at uh, anyone in the uh, communist even in communist circles, uh, uh, scarcely when you say, uh, well, we, have a, we need a people's government. Great, great. We need a people's government. Um, um, and we have to abolish these three things. And, and you say, well, we're going to have to abolish livestock systems. You're going to have to rely on these um, uh, plant-based products that taste exactly the same. Um, and, and they say, well, that's... Uh, then they'll immediately turn into um, um, uh, Mussolini in that situation. Uh, parroting uh, uh, livestock lobby talking points um, and couching it in some kind of uh, the language of freedom, which is the last bastion of the, of the liar, um, um, or um, uh, the language of uh, um, um, other other, uh, other um, uh, bourgeois talking points. And um, uh, so, so much so that you could say, um, of the uh, uh, liberation-minded and people inclined to uh, fight uh, for people's government and for the abolition of private wealth, there is uh, virtually no one, one percent of those people, actually uh, willing to uh, do what it takes to see that our species doesn't go extinct. So you have people who are functionally uh, uh, consumeristic, capitalistic, fascistic people, uh, despite uh, their rhetoric. Uh, and we would need uh, something like 10%, I think, of the world to not be this, uh, to be this righteous person who's uniformly um, against um, uh, exploitation um, and degradation of this, of this planet, um, and not one in a million, um, as, as is the case. Um, uh, so um, uh, Facebook used to uh, be required to uh, give... Um, a warning. Uh, uh, some they wouldn't actually give you any information. They wouldn't tell you why you had been banned, uh, but they would say this post, which you can no longer see because it's illegal, 
um, and you have no re frame, real frame of reference to know what it is, um, was was problematic. And so for this reason, you cannot use this website for uh, one day or two days or one week or one month. They don't even do that now. Um, and um, uh, that's largely been the function of these uh, uh, privately held uh, social media. That's why uh, CIA mega asset uh, Elon Musk, a greenwashing, um, uh, a greenwashing mountebank of the highest order, um, um, uh, uh, acquired uh, uh, Twitter for roughly three times its value. Uh, that's been the function of, um, uh, of Facebook from the jump. Uh, basically just doing exactly what the people like Peter Thiel uh, would want him to do, and that's why uh, things like Cambridge Analytica would be allowed to happen. That's why um, there's virtually no um, um, organizing um, or uh, real humanity on this particular website, Facebook.com. Um, and um, uh, you, you'll see um, politicians, and you know, a few years ago, um, a female uh, U.S. politician uh, uh, just commented that um, um, the the need to do this kind of shadow banning and manipulation uh, was important and it didn't matter. It didn't matter uh, that basically this um, um, uh, censorship by another name, because it's uh, filtered through the operations of uh, um, uh, private organizations, seemingly private organizations, which are all effectively military contractors. Um, um, having the effect of uh, silencing uh, millions of voices and um, uh, completely undermining organization. Um, and um, um, this, uh, there's, you can't really, um, you can't really uh, uh, look in any direction um, and not see uh, this um, effects on this order of magnitude. You, you cannot join organizations uh, without um, uh, seeing uh, a similar uh, degree of sabotage. Um, that's that's true if you um, uh, join uh, the uh, CPUSA, the uh, so-called Communist Party. That's true if you join the Democratic Socialists of America. It's true if you join um, um, even less ostensibly uh, socialist organizations, the Libertarian Party. Um, of course, the Democrats are Republicans. Um, every every um, everywhere you would turn. Uh, uh, there's going uh, to be effective uh, intelligence agency operatives, effective COINTELPRO uh, mechanisms in place uh, 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 to um, uh, defray uh, these effects, uh, to undermine, um, neutralize, um, uh, kill them in their crib. I uh, first, I guess, started uh, thinking seriously about these things. Um, uh, um, uh, in moving in technophile and technologist circles among the tech-minded um, and became involved with an organization um, um, only to realize that um, it was worse, that far worse than average uh, than, uh, say, um, any other organization in terms of this kind of infiltration. The, um, 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 one of the most um, influential people in that organization literally just had on there a resume that they worked for an intelligence agency, and you had um, almost everyone else in this uh, inner circle, um, or a large number of them, having some kind of uh, kind of U.S. security clearance uh, type background, <laughs> and then um, you have uh, the rest of them filling out the ranks, um, having um, coming from some um, a right-wing think tank, which is uh, functionally quite similar in its in its role. Um, in, in the U.S. Uh, political landscape, or um, um, also uh, people who are pretty obviously um, um, uh, sort of like working for Google <laughs> or something, um, um, but um, and you know, which is again a military conflict. You have people who are uh, at, at, at you, there's no one who you could turn to um, in this kind of organization if you wanted to uh, say. Uh, do work on behalf of actual human beings because uh, um, it's just um, uh, people whose um, uh, fundamental uh, uh, um, uh, organizing principle in their work is uh, the interests of private wealth and the bourgeois, and they might have, uh, they'll invariably have uh, one issue on which they would say, I, uh, this is something I would like to do in a perfect world, um, but um, 
in, in practice, all of their work uh, focuses on the interests of, uh, of, the, of the bourgeois. And um, uh, this is why you um, uh, cannot really uh, trust anything that um, uh, uh, tech people uh, say on the subject of uh, this most powerful revolutionary tool in history uh, that's emerging in the midst of an AI takeoff. Uh, advanced computing is the most powerful revolutionary tool. A point should be not, not be lost on any organizer or any citizen of this planet, um, uh, but it is. Um, and um, um, if you uh, turn to the people who um, are not uh, systematically um, uh, stripped of their uh, rights uh, to organize and speech uh, through the mechanisms I described, um, um, it is because, of course, they are uh, bourgeois functionaries, uh, PMC and petty bourgeois uh, uh, type of folks. Um, and um, um, uh, so these uh, AI pundits and uh, tech personalities, um, they will uh, uh, tend to um, uh, take one of two uh, kinds of positions on this. Uh, one is that this is going to have a positive transformative effect but again, they are the same of those people that I described. They uh, have one thing uh, that they kind of want to do, but uh, they won't really try to do it um, if it flies in the face of the more particular uh, neoliberal, um, hypercapitalistic, imperialistic mandate. Um, and the other uh, kind of person in this uh, world of tech um, people and personalities which tech, in, insofar as the United States is concerned, should just be a shortened form of techno-fascism. Um, uh, the other kind of position of these people is that um, uh, advanced computing is a grave risk uh, to humanity. Not a thing that could um, um, be used under the uh, proper um, implementation and organization to, say, stop. Um, an exist the, the most significant existential risk in human history, uh, capitalism's climate apocalypse, uh, but it is uh, simply another one of uh, a number of such existential risks that they more or less hold to be equal, um, which is, of course, um, essentially a climate-denying position of, of these PMC that's been very carefully um, uh, presented um, as a organic discourse, but of course it's not. It's a sur in service to the ruling elites. And um, uh, so they would say that uh, the um, AI apocalypse, um, that runaway AI will um, um, uh, kill us all. Um, of course, uh, this is not a risk to uh, humanity in the way that these other things are, um, uh, namely um, um, uh, the cruelty generally of uh, fascistic and capitalistic institutions, and particularly the um, uh, the uh, grand genocide of capitalism's climate apocalypse, wherein we have um, five years uh, before we will have reached runaway overheating uh, of this planet, and uh, with each passing year at that point, um, the survival of humanity will become um, harder and harder as um, the temperature uh, becomes hotter and hotter. This has already been experienced um, uh, last summer um, in, 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 not in notable ways, such as uh, temperatures are reaching an, uh, approximately 160 degrees in certain places in the Middle East. Um, as that becomes increasingly par for the course um, in more and more places, um, um, that is a temperature at which um, um, a mammalian life cannot survive. Uh, that could very well become the entirety of the planet. Um, in a few decades. It's, uh, in fact, uh, according to every serious climate scientist, the most likely of outcomes. Um, uh, so there is, um, I do not believe that you can uh, call yourself um, a liberation-minded person, um, a, a supporter of um, um, uh, state socialism, or a supporter of any anti-establishment thing if you do not have uh, this um, uh, fundamental um, uh, eco-socialist um, uh, operating goal, uh, which is not to see um, humanity go extinct because we have a few years uh, to prevent that. Um, but as I said, um, 
it seems to be about one in a million people who is actually um, intellectually and consistent and consistent in their habits um, who is not just kind of a hypocrite on the score. And maybe not one in a million, maybe just one in 10,000. <laughs> uh, that's, uh, that's not good either. It's not enough of people doing the right thing. Um, and um, um, I was uh, reading a book um, um, called um, uh, Socialism and Black Liberation and um, um, last night and uh, uh, one uh, passage was to do with uh, the impact of um, uh, the social criticism of uh, Malcolm X and um, it described um, how um, 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 well, uh, Mal Malcolm X is um, not a, um, in my view, um, uh, somebody who sh should be, uh, not for the most obvious reason that people will point to, um, being um, a militant, uh, but is not somebody who should be emulated relative to others. Uh, for example, the generation of um, African American organizers that followed, uh, immediately followed the uh, uh, Black Panthers, um, were. Um, real scientific socialists and liberation-minded uh, people. Um, um, uh, relative, uh, Malcolm X's impact um, uh, was uh, transformative on the public consciousness because he was um, <coughs> a high-profile uh, commentator um, and, um, and evolving into being a real organizer more along the lines of uh, the um, uh, Black Panther Party for um, uh, uh, for for self defense, um, um, uh, when he was murdered, and you could say this of um, um, Martin Luther King as well, that he was uh, pivoting from being a, um, um, a community organizer of 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 one crucial kind, the um, uh, civil rights movement, to being uh, someone who would um, uh, question. Um, uh, militarism and private wealth, and at that point, um, uh, say, uh, calling for uh, uh, universal basic income and universal basic services and the dismantling of the military-industrial complex, it would seem uh, that um, um, uh, he was determined to be too much of a risk to the establishment because he had a, an even bigger um, uh, pulpit, uh, so to speak, than uh, someone like Malcolm X. Um, and um, uh, these, um, um, the the um, uh, the Black Party, the Black Panther Party, um, um, is uh, unique um, in 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 this is viewed through this kind of lens as well. There have been uh, many organizations that call themselves socialist uh, today, or would present themselves as a liberation or. Uh, scientific socialism um, um, uh, champions uh, today, and even more so uh, historically, it's not it's not fair to gen overgeneralize uh, too much here. But it is kind of, in a word, accurate to say that none of them are worth shit uh, compared to the Black Panther Party, um, uh, which is um, uh, uh, you could say that they had some of them had their moments, um, uh, but that is why. Um, uh, uh, J. Edgar Hoover and the FBI um, and the entirety of intelligence operations domestically and, uh, and fascistic operations of other nations kind of <laughs> uh, lending support and of course the um, uh, militarized police force um, say oh it wasn't militarized in, in quite to the quite in quite the same way as it is uh, today uh, back then but in in, um, in terms of uh, relationships with marginalized communities, it was as bad or worse. Um, just uh, dropped an anvil on top of the Black Panther Party. Um, um, and it's presented as a criticism of them uh, that they uh, took uh, this um, a liberation, a Maoist uh, a view, uh, the essential idea that I agree with that um, political power um, uh, grows out of the barrel of a gun. Um, which is, of course, true. It's presented as a criticism of the Black Panther Party um, uh, that they uh, took this position. That 
should more correctly be a criticism of everyone else. We're not doing this. Um, you, know, you can read uh, Jay Sakai's uh, book, Settlers, uh, where he talks about uh, similar liberation fighters being denounced uh, by the very people that I've described as not being shit, uh, like the Communist uh, Party um, in the 60s, uh, some uh, Puerto Rican um, um, uh, liberation fighters uh, were denounced by uh, uh, the Communist Party uh, on, on much the same grounds. Well, the, you, can't, uh, you can't be uh, so militant, what would you expect? I would expect that everyone else would recognize in present day context that they're going to die if they don't do this and not take the side of the people that are killing them and not blame the victim. And even um, as was the case with um, historical uh, uh, liberation fighters, Nat Turner and so many other people who led uh, domestic uh, uh, slave uprisings, or say John Brown, uh, you would say, um, uh, John Brown said that he was going to do X, Y, and Z uh, tactically in the course of his uh, fight against slavery. He failed uh, to do those things, uh, and uh, so um, uh, John Brown was a failure. Uh, John Brown was, in fact, not a failure um, because he had the courage uh, to undertake those things, and he, in fact, moved uh, the goalpost a great deal. Um, uh, you could say that if John Brown hadn't done what he had done, um, U.S. Uh, chattel slavery may well have not ended until 1890, or something like that. Um, and um, 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 the um, to speculate further on that, it, it, it gets get, getting into a ridiculous thing. Um, I'm going to shift gears to what the um, headline of this was. I was going to say something else about um, uh, uh, Malcolm X's. Um, um, social criticism, but I, I lost my note here. Um, um, uh, the, um, I'm going to talk a little bit now about uh, the U.S.'s role um, in uh, holding back uh, this um, a planetary uh, development and, th and the most essential thing uh, there, which is uh, the building of a humane and sustainable world, uh, which cannot be built without a humane and sustainable economic system. A point lost on nearly every uh, European American um, uh, who will blame anything else but um, uh, these institutions uh, for the problems of this world, and that is because of the effects of things like Project Mockingbird, uh, the Im immense amount of uh, media uh, manipulation, brainwashing, uh, such as it is, um, and um, and how. Uh, that relates to the subject of this uh, podcast, which is Revolutionary Cybernetic Socialism. Uh, so we could t uh, talk about this in terms of a missed opportunity uh, for real uh, technological utopia in the course of the 20th century. Um, and uh, there's no um, uh, way of contextualizing this appropriately in, the ter in terms of what is coming out of this AI takeoff that I mentioned in passing uh, now. Uh, without talking about uh, this thing that I have described as uh, the AI agentic class or agentariat, and um, uh, this is, um, I think, must become central to this idea of revolutionary cybernetic socialism, which I think uh, should be the next uh, evolution of uh, scientific socialist uh, uh, and, and thought and generally um, um, actions towards the transformation of society, as I said. Advanced computing is the most powerful revolutionary tool uh, that's ever existed, but not in the present context um, because it's been captured by uh, the bourgeois and militaristic fascistic forces. Um, um, so much so that you can't, as I mentioned in tech circles, you can't throw a frisbee without hitting a cop. Um, and um, um, the, um, uh, uh, so this um, is a theoretical system at this point. Uh, the AI agentic class or agentariat, um, and I have described it extensively on this program, uh, which I suggest you go back and watch earlier shows, uh, how we could uh, build uh, actually existing, um, uh, using actually existing um, open source um, uh, LLM models, uh, which are increasingly transitioning from being uh, powerful uh, writing tools and uh, having some digital assistant capabilities, uh, to being things that are agentic. This has been well understood by uh, these uh, techno-fascist entities like Google, 
uh, for a number of years had basically known that they had this um, uh, capacity uh, for AI agency um, in laboratories and uh, recognized uh, that uh, they couldn't really pull the trigger on it in any way, uh, that they kind of had a tiger by the tail in the form of this thing that has uh, tremendous revolutionary potential um, and thus would undermine their uh, most important operational goals of upholding uh, private wealth and uh, uh, militaristic uh, fascism of the West. Um, um, and um, But we can use uh, these um, um, uh, uh, increasingly powerful, as, um, um, as one such example would be uh, the release of Llama 3, uh, which is modifiable, but not eminently uh, so, but it can be combined with other LLMs um, and, and modified to a high degree. It's not truly open source in every aspect, as that uh, we're generally uh, suggests, but it is free and it is uh, uh, able to be used in conjunction with other open source properties. Um, essentially, um, a pretty considerable uh, thing when you consider that uh, this organization uh, that developed it, uh, Meta, or Facebook, is one of the top ten uh, worst defenders in terms of um, uh, techno-fascism. Um, <coughs> and um, this thing that I've called techno-fascism. Um, <coughs> uh, so these uh, particular modifiable LLMs uh, can be used uh, to build um, um, an interoperating, um, um, largely automated uh, network. Uh, so you can imagine that if you, that you have a computer uh, that has a GPU, uh, you download a specially tailored uh, LLM, and uh, now you are working, let's say, with the initial work group of a hundred other people who have this LLM that's running passively, and all of these people are receiving some uh, more or less um, easily managed um, uh, uh, a set of um, a work directives, a click-through process, some yes or no questions that they would respond to essentially throughout the course of a week, um, uh, helping them to uh, steer the operations of this um, automated uh, workers entity. Um, and this would allow uh, the undertaking of projects in the few hundreds or thousands of people uh, that I think would be uh, demo demonstrably beyond that of a comparable number of professionals uh, despite these people uh, requiring um, no specialized training, uh, very little actual labor, in fact, for the most part, not even needing to be awake to be full participants in this. Um, and um, uh, when you transition to then, uh, say, 30,000 uh, users, a number at which an app is generally held to be viable um, um, as a continuing property, um, um, you would have the potential to build, uh, say, something that would augment um, uh, municipal services uh, that are lacking. Um, uh, like I mentioned, um, uh, a, a, a worthy project for this, if it was demonstrated uh, to be this uh, genuine uh, cognitive uh, force multiplier and uh, significant uh, collectivized workforce multiplier, uh, would be the um, um, uh, undertaking to build a, a project already outlined uh, by the uh, governments of uh, the nation of Nigeria for the city of Lagos um, for a desal plant there that is a city that is on a, uh, quite cl clo to, close to a coastline and um, not having the potable water resources that they would like there. Uh, so this uh, network of some tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands of people in this high automation um, uh, system uh, would uh, be able to uh, generate uh, the kind of work product that could uh, design and um, and organize and build uh, such a thing. Um, and um, again, um, that would be uh, largely uh, relying on um, the uh, increased capacity of the AI agent, which has been well understood, as I said, uh, for the, uh, a number of years uh, by... Um, high-level uh, tech personalities. That's why you've had this kind of language even before the last year or so when it became extremely commonplace uh, coming out of the uh, um, uh, techno, so-called techno-fascist uh, mouthpieces. Uh, there's this um, guy named Elias Zhukowski uh, who's been um, uh, saying this sort of thing for 15 years, um, uh, that AI would kill us. But of course he doesn't care um, about us, and he has no a real thoughtful analysis. This is just um, a stratagem 
of professional managerial class uh, folks and bourgeois folks uh, generally um, uh, to um, neutralize uh, something that has legitimate revolutionary potential. Uh, the thing that would be in a real uh, earnest analysis uh, more likely to stop an existential risk uh, than to create, far more likely uh, than to create a new existential risk. Uh, but in doing so, it would also undermine uh, the um, established fortunes and uh, private capital uh, institutions, uh, it's very generous to call them this, um, but, um, and that is something that um, these people make their living um, on pretending are not problematic. Um, uh, uh, so um, let's uh, look in this context at um, the um, overall state automated uh, system, or OGOSH, of the USSR, uh, a proposed a project um, that was um, unfortunately never uh, close to being implemented, but it was something um, uh, that uh, has some parallel to uh, this um, uh, type of um, agentariate structure, which I propose uh, should not merely become um, a, a something operating like a more agile um, NGO, of course, NGOs mostly are not um, really doing what they're supposed to be doing, but um, a, a, as I suggested moments ago, operating um, in this kind of, um, uh, we're spearheading a project in this kind of um, um, a crowdsourced, uh, a nonprofit uh, function, um, uh, but um, when it grows to a certain kind of number of users, it could begin to become uh, the very um, uh, superstructure um, uh, uh, necessary to, um, uh, say, uh, begin to provision uh, universal basic services um, and um, and um, neutralize the influence of of, of private wealth that is uh, killing the planet. And enslaving, uh, quite literally, um, in wa in uh, wage slavery, wherein people are not earning enough to live, um, most of the planet. Um, it's not a, a system, uh, even without capitalism's climate apocalypse, it's not a system to be admired. Um, uh, that and that is largely uh, the uh, influence of people of European descent. Uh, this is a Western phenomenon. Uh, that has uh, forced the rest of the world into uh, this. If you don't believe that, um, uh, consider um, a pretty simple, simplistic way of describing this. Uh, in the course of the 1800s, uh, seven, uh, some part of the 1700s and 1800s, um, um, uh, these uh, so-called liberal uh, democracies of today uh, were transformed uh, through industrialization in this um, industrial uh, capital um, uh, a phenomena. Um, uh, this was uh, quicker um, in in, ter in terms of um, uh, earlier phenomena than any kind of progression that had ever happened uh, before. Um, and then when you uh, reach the 20th century, you have uh, the establishment of the scientific socialist um, uh, phenomena and uh, state socialism, uh, which did this about four times faster still. Uh, the um, uh, Soviet Union transform was transformed uh, from a nation of um, uh, potato and onion farmers and such um, in, uh, in uh, pe peasants um, into a, a nation of uh, um, engineers and scientists uh, doubling the life expectancy, a tremendous uh, change in the uh, industrial output of that country, truly astonishing. And um, um, this was approximately occurring at the rate four times faster uh, than industrial capitaliz capitalism had achieved uh, this. Um, and almost all propaganda uh, about um, uh, the Soviet Union or state socialism is meant to, uh, to draw your attention away from that fact, uh, that state socialism is four times better than industrial capitalism in terms of n not killing the planet and not killing people. Um, and, um, um, uh, but uh, then consider what started to happen at the end of the Second World War, uh, where um, uh, the um, uh, previous uh, colonial institutions were dismantled and rejected on a global scale. And so you had um, African uh, nations, a great number of African nations, becoming um, uh, free 
uh, to some degree uh, from uh, those uh, uh, colonial uh, shackles, uh, but in in their place uh, were um, uh, neo-colonial um, and um, and uh, imperial fascist um, um, a violence of a new kind, um, and we could say of this uh, the World Bank and IMF basically cheating at monopoly uh, to prevent um, uh, nations in the global south, African nations, from uh, being able to do this very thing, uh, build um, an effective state socialism that would operate um, within that same time frame, say 25 years, uh, to transform that nation um, with these essential uh, services. It's, it's not uh, terribly uh, mystifying when you have um, this industrial function allowed to occur. Uh, you have then uh, the people being provided with housing authority, a public health service, a single payer health care, um, labor protection, some kind of essential job guarantee, um, and other kinds of uh, worker programs. Um, and when you have that, then you have um, this doubling of life expectancy and uh, dramatic change in the industrial capacities of countries in short order. Uh, this should have been the fate of, um, of the Global South. Uh, but what you had instead was um, U.S.-led uh, fascism effectively uh, undermining um, these nations um, and creating some kind of pretext, at least through the, uh, um, um, the in the language of the Western mouthpieces. I think people in the Global South recognize that um, that they were just cheating at Monopoly, and uh, you know the United States killed uh, 40 million people <laughs> um, in living memory alone, in effectively. Um, mostly anti-communist wars, and if they weren't um, in more recent years uh, less ostensibly anti-communist wars, but the idea is still uh, the uh, extraction of resources and destabilization of governments in just in a slightly more diffuse way um, in service to private capital. This is a fundamentally the same kind of fascism. The United States, in a, as its uh, as the champion of anti-communism and fascism, is the same thing. Um, is effectively the world's most successful uh, fascist power by far. Um, and um, uh, uh, so um, um, it's, it's significant to then look at um, uh, these other projects uh, that uh, could have um, achieved, begun to achieve in a less uh, toxic environment, uh, what I would uh, hope that uh, the AI agentic class uh, could achieve in in the course of uh, the mid 21st century. Uh, so this um, Ogosh of the USSR um, um, was um, well articulated. It, it wasn't well received uh, by the powers that be in uh, within um, uh, that, um, which basically, in a word, uh, regarded uh, advanced technology as a um, as a bourgeois poison pill. Which, um, knowing what we know about uh, uh, Western technologism uh, today, uh, it's hard to uh, uh, um, blame them. Um, and, a, and another, the other most more noteworthy project in this, uh, because it was more fully realized, uh, was Chile's uh, Project Cybersyn, uh, which used relatively simplistic technology uh, to uh, build a planned economy, um, um, uh, despite uh, the, some of the people um, uh, working on it not being uh, thoroughgoing, absolutely thoroughgoing scientific socialist. Um, Salvador Allende has been uh, criticized as being more, uh, a little too liberal, um, in the worst sense of the word, um, um, in um, and um, a little too, a little more capitalistic than he could have. Uh, the other, one of the other persons who uh, worked uh, very much on that project, Stafford Beer, uh, the same, more or less the same thing would be said of him, or. Uh, uh, he was not a socialist at all. Um, you can make the case that Allende was at least um, a socialist. Uh, but nevertheless, he worked on a socialist project of great uh, significance that would have transformed uh, not just Chile, but had a regional impact of, I believe, the kind that we would uh, that I described uh, the USSR having um, um, on its people, uh, more or less the quadrupling the pace of, um, of human development. Um, but um, this is, of course, recognized uh, by the fascistic ruling elites. Um, uh, so, as you know, the part of this story that is uh, most uh, well-known, um, the United States had 
installed a fascist dictator named Augusto Pinochet, um, uh, causing the death of Salvador Allende and uh, causing the complete dismantling of uh, this first foray into uh, uh, technologically organized, uh, um, uh, truly advanced technologically organized um, central planning. Um, and uh, there's no uh, looking again at this uh, so-called uh, Cold War, uh, which is really just effectively uh, fascistic bullying on the part of the U.S. and, uh, and West, um, and, not, um, and not seeing uh, this tremendously deleterious impact on the progression of technology, which serves no function at all if it is not in service to uh, uh, stability uh, and human development. Um, uh, so let's look at um, why this essentially more decentralized thing, uh, the uh, function of this entity that I've described as the agentariate, um, is the better option uh, there. It is not because decentralization um, or uh, something that is, um, uh, say, fundamentally um, that has at the top of its uh, um, operational necessaries being represented, or more, quote, democratic, is uh, that either of these things, decentralizing or uh, democracy, are uh, the real task here. Uh, but it is because this decentralized aspect and this uh, so-called democratic uh, aspect um, uh, would allow this... Um, a thing uh, to be versatile enough uh, to avoid uh, the fascistic saboteur, uh, the techno-fascist uh, uh, crushing it uh, so easily as it has. Uh, it destroyed the Soviet Union for this crime of um, building a humane and sustainable economic system and inspiring the world to this. It destroyed many, many other such projects uh, besides uh, Chile or those um, in uh, the Soviet sphere of influence. Um, and um, 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 uh, Ogas, um, uh, I think, represented this early vision uh, for a cybernetic organism, as I mentioned in the title here. Um, a real cybernetic organism, not the stupid uh, joke from the Terminator films. <laughs> um, and um, um, this um, uh, was recognized immediately um, uh, by a highly policed uh, 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 capitalists uh, like Arthur Schlesinger, a, um, an advisor to, um, uh, to uh, John F. Kennedy and others, um, who, um, who said that um, if, if the USSR were to begin to uh, transition to this um, um, uh, 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 technocratic, um, advanced technocratic uh, kind of um, uh, structures, um, uh, the United States would be leapfrogged over. The West would be leapfrogged over, effectively, um, and um, um, and all of this uh, fascist work that they'd done would have been for naught. Um, and um, uh, so, um, uh, this is uh, um, if you think that this, uh, this line of thought has not influenced our world. Uh, uh, consider that uh, this network world that we live in today is fundamentally uh, communalistic um, by its nature. Um, it is uh, uniting people and allowing them uh, to work in ways that are, operate outside of uh, private wealth. And a tremendous amount of the um, operations of the kind that I um, um, uh, smeared uh, tech-minded people generally, uh, the right-wing think tank, um, and um, uh, military in, uh, contractor and PR firm, a huge a trillion dollars of uh, development effectively in, the, in recent decades went into uh, seeing how to transform that fundamentally communist, communalistic thing, um, this uh, hyper-connected world, into something more like what it is today um, that principally serves uh, private wealth that has very little to do uh, with um, a humane and sustainable uh, set of institutions and the hu ultimately a humane and sustainable uh, set of economic systems. Um, 
um, the um, um, so these uh, kinds of uh, projects, um, their importance uh, should not be understated. There is no, um, um, there is virtually no interest in uh, building uh, something like uh, the AI agentari on the part of um, either f uh, reform-minded people or even uh, the genuinely anti-establishment or revolution-minded uh, uh, people. Um, a little bit, as I mentioned, how uh, this um, movement uh, for um, uh, in support of um, uh, uh, Palestine um, uh, needs to be transformed in, into doing that, but also being a movement for people's government, um, but that um, almost none of the uh, people uh, concerned, the good people uh, doing this work, um, uh, really have the insights into... <laughs> Uh, these um, their operations uh, to do that. So what will happen with this movement most likely, unfortunately, is what has happened uh, with other movements of, of any scale, uh, which is that they will kind of peter out and the bourgeois will wait them out and, um, and things will return uh, to uh, um, the neoliberal and military fascistic uh, status quo. Can't allow that to happen. Again, we have five years to um, uh, utterly destroy uh, the neoliberal and military uh, fascistic status quo, or our species will become extinct. Um, uh, so um, I would contend that we have to uh, begin to recognize in great numbers uh, that this thing, uh, which we could call the AI singularity, or we should uh, further describe as a takeoff of advanced computing, we can uh, further describe, um, uh, the more we describe it, uh, the better, um, uh, like uh, this AI agentic class and uh, how it could operate, um, the, um, these uh, techno-fascist tech people, all techno-fascists really, uh, pretty intentionally mystify uh, this. So they use words like the AI singularity, or they routinely describe advanced computing as uh, uh, necessarily being a black box, uh, an obscure thing that cannot be understood, uh, not because there's not going to be people who do very well understand and steer it, uh, but because they need that level of uh, helplessness and compliance uh, from the public uh, to continue uh, this transition from um, uh, mid-level uh, uh, techno-fascist encroachment uh, to full techno-fascist um, uh, uh, power. Um, and um, uh, the, the West's role in this again, um, uh, the, the fear of, uh, uh, of communism generally um, and of communist technological advancement um, as I alluded to um, it, it doesn't uh, it doesn't stand up um, under any scrutiny um, under any analysis at all right why um, why is it the um, person fighting in another country um, um, for a humane and sustainable system wherein they would be able to provide housing authority, public health service, jobs, a guarantee to their citizens, and um, create an industrial output that is uh, um, uh, uh, that serves the people and strengthens the region. Um, why is that something for which the Western fascist um, is uh, allowed to murder them? Um, it makes no sense. Um, and um, um, uh, but it's nevertheless been a thing that's been widely accepted, uh, not just in um, um, a place as stupid as the United States, but places only slightly less stupid, um, uh, places often described as socialist, which are of course not, uh, other Western European and Atlantic powers, um, uh, that, um, um, again, um, they're not socialist. Uh, the soci these two kinds of people, in this world, uh, the fascistic-minded people who uh, find some pretext uh, for not uh, supporting the abolition of private wealth, and uh, the more socialistic-minded people uh, who do not seize upon such a pretext, uh, but rather accept that private wealth will kill us all um, in a short number of decades, uh, and be uh, that a process may well be more or less um, unavoidable in five years. Um, and um, and that we must um, 
uh, do what is necessary to be done. So every person who ever utters a reformist or incrementalist word um, in that, with that knowledge, scientific certainty of um, destruction of billions, of death of billions of people, or uh, the entire um, extinction of the species, um, is an intellectually dishonest person, fundamentally a fascist. Um, um, these, um, um, uh, 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 without U.S. intervention and um, and the so-called Cold War, this um, um, uh, U.S. and Western-led uh, fascistic um, uh, violence of uh, tremendous uh, tremendous impact. Uh, how might um, uh, socialist uh, state socialism might develop? Um, it's difficult to say, but uh, when you look at what uh, Cybersyn would have been able to accomplish and how it could have triggered um, uh, 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 projects, Cybersyn is uh, not a, uh, a technological, um, a te technologically advanced um, in its own uh, way. It was using um, uh, technology, uh, telex machines that were not terribly sophisticated even for the time, uh, but they were allowed to, they were able to nevertheless build a planned economy around what was basically surplus uh, older technology uh, that they were able to acquire. Um, and uh, um, this, this essential truth, uh, this c uh, could be done, um, uh, points at the absurdity of the techno-fascists, the so-called tech world of the West, um, who um, um, uh, require uh, great resources and funding uh, to build things of little um, a significance in terms of stability of the world or human development, um, um, and uh, then um, have these uh, complex uh, narratives, almost all of the tech subcultures, kind of upholding uh, this narrative that somehow uh, this uh, trillion dollar, mega trillion dollar um, abomination that's uh, net negative on the, on the planet under, uh, under the regimes of uh, a private uh, capital, um, are somehow advancing uh, civilization. Uh, this is again kind of the um, product of that sort of PR campaign to turn this communalistic thing, uh, connectivity, into a um, uh, fascistic thing. And they have successfully done this, and now what is their reward uh, for being uh, successful fascists, imperial fascists and techno-fascists? Uh, they now have this um, a reward which is having uh, killed themselves through capitalism's climate apocalypse and everyone else, and we have to stop them, right? If you uh, were held hostage uh, tomorrow uh, by a person who said, an insane person, who said that they were going to kill you and themselves, and then themselves at an appointed time, and you managed to escape uh, from uh, uh, them and uh, were to kill them in the process of that escape, uh, no court in any land uh, would convict you uh, as a murderer. Um, and that essential situation is a situation uh, that all of humankind is in relative to uh, the uh, neoliberal and uh, imperial fascist U.S. and West. Um, and um, uh, so um, uh, you should organize and act accordingly. Um, you don't... Um, um, uh, there was a man who died uh, a few years ago um, because he uh, uh, distar discharged a firearm um, at a, a right-wing uh, fascistic U.S. senator uh, named Stephen Scalise, who is n not substantively more fascistic than any other personality um, of the capitalist class, even though he would be perceived by those people as being so. Um, um, all of these people are capitalist uh, pigs, right? Um, uh, but the point is, uh, this uh, a person uh, probably imagined himself uh, to be uh, undertaking a liberatory and significant action in the moments before he died, um, but I did not have the benefit of um, uh, organization toward a people's government, um, and that is the thing uh, that um, um, is, the, um, is, the is the clincher there. Um, that is why I would say again, uh, that all of these uh, many uh, hundreds of camps uh, that are sprouting up around the world 
um, on on um, uh, college campuses and things uh, to um, uh, to uh, defy uh, um, Israeli and U.S. militarism uh, must uh, begin to organize and transform into uh, this more substantial thing, this thing that could actually um, uh, not merely have the bourgeois outweigh them until they lose interest and disband, uh, but um, uh, be the thing that would uh, bring an end uh, to um, uh, this only real existential risk um, um, in, in contemporary history, which is, of course, uh, the uh, trillion dollar military industrial complex abomination, uh, which only serves is the world's worst polluter. Um, the U.S. military is the world's worst polluter, but of course it's far worse than that because their only real function on the world stage, it'll, um, they're not uh, polluting in service to, say, helping people. Uh, they're polluting to say, only really in service to protect other super polluters um, and the regime, <laughs> the global regime of super pollution generally. Um, and um, um, uh, this, this is, you would not, if you were to, uh, if a space alien were to look at this and say this is the, organ, the way that you've organized your world, that's utter, utter absurdity. Uh, but this is accepted as a received wisdom by all, um, just the ordinary um, and um, um, mundane and uh, completely uh, w um, acceptable uh, functioning of, of, of these institutions. Um, um, there is no possibility of um, the socialistic-minded uh, person um, um, who uh, recognizes the need to abolish um, private capital and its uh, power base um, and, um, um, and the more fascistic-minded person, or often referred to as a capitalist, right? But that person is not a capitalist. A capitalist is someone who owns the means of production. Uh, these are fascist sympathizers. Um, and, um, um, uh, uh, but as I said, um, it is, I believe, possible, uh, even without a successful um, armed revolution across uh, continents, uh, uh, to see that uh, power neutralized uh, by building something stronger. Like, as I mentioned, uh, this um, AI agentic um, 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 proposal. Uh, which uh, could, in, went with billions of users, uh, come to be a thing that would uh, be, uh, by, by sheer uh, magnitude and force, uh, uh, um, uh, able to uh, neutralize uh, the um, uh, Cold War powers. The Cold War power, that's to say the uh, uh, fascist U.S. and West, uh, without, um, uh, uh, without the... Um, necessity of armed conflict. It's possible that people's governments can be built um, uh, without um, protracted civil wars. It's not possible um, uh, to, um, uh, to do any of that if you stipulate in advance uh, that, um, uh, that the fundamental truth that I mentioned of Chairman Mao, uh, that political power grows from the barrel of a gun, uh, should be ignored. That people, um, communities, marginalized groups, and workers do not have the right to defend themselves from uh, these people that are killing the planet. Um, um, uh, so I would issue a call uh, for uh, collaboration uh, toward building uh, this AI agenda class, which would require um, a work group uh, to be assembled to um, identify and begin to uh, modify the best uh, open source LLMs uh, uh, coming out today uh, that could be uh, used to begin to build this uh, proto uh, agent, I, AI agentic class, the basic functioning of this. Um, and um, uh, we need to do things like uh, begin to have a real mailing list for people who would be plugged into this when it was made available. And we need uh, uh, these other kind of quite simple things like website and uh, the beginning of a real uh, presence and face of this. Um, and um, as I said, uh, this would be a thing uh, that with some hundreds of thousands of users could be a benefit to communities, with some millions of users uh, could be the thing that would actually stop capitalism's climate apocalypse. Um, and um, um, uh, well, 
um, I'll, I'll end with um, uh, this uh, mantra that I like uh, to repeat that's um, given me some inspiration and clarity, and it, uh, it is thus. Um, the artificial intelligence singularity is near, and wonders to behold beyond imagining. And all, on that fateful day, uh, you will rise, and all humankind will become as one, for techno-communism will win. Uh, this is the uh, achievable outcome of something like uh, the agent Ariat being built out to the degree that I moments ago alluded to. Uh, this would then uh, begin to become the superstructure of this world, uh, creating uh, uh, um, an, an this transforming this network into something like a United Earth Directorate that is able to um, 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 provide uh, the essential services of uh, this uh, four times faster uh, centrally planned economy that I alluded to um, um, on a global scale and neutralize uh, the harm of uh, elitist institutions generally. Um, this, is full this is full communism in our time um, and it's achievable. It will, it's eminently achievable in the course of the 21st century um, or that shortly thereafter uh, the question is, will you uh, benefit from it, or um, or will we continue um, uh, uh, functioning as dupes of uh, ecocidal uh, ruling elites?